Hi guys, it's uh Oh, it's only seven minutes fast since it reset yesterday. <laughs> I'll be all confused now. No heater there. Well, we got the little heater. That's the one that was running down in the compartment where the pipes for the tanks and stuff were to keep that warm all winter. So now we've got this little one in here. We got rid of the great big one. We got our TV right on the shelf, and soon we won't even need that little one. But we got that. See that up there on the wall? Our lights on the ceiling don't work. Water leaked into the something or other. So that's got to be redone this year. After Bill redoes the roof. Um, but anyway, yesterday when I went in Discount Variety and got the sewer stuff, all kinds of sewer stuff, um, they had these lights. And what it is, it's just a little rectangle the size of a light switch panel. Uh, and there's a light switch in the middle, and it's run by batteries. And that sucker lights up the whole room. Believe it or not, it was under five bucks, so we're going to go back and get more of those. Because that, that, it's run on a little button battery, and it lights up the whole room. See? Pete's doing the final flush of the water tank. Then he'll fill it. We'll have water out of the taps instead of out of bottles. No bottles sitting everywhere. Uh, we can cook again, as I said yesterday, because I was so stoked about that. Uh, Brandy's here to get her stuff out of the bedroom, because her stuff, she still has a ton of stuff in the bedroom. And I'm going to need to move the birds in there after we get back next week so that I can give their cages a really good cleaning. So I asked her to move her stuff out. Um, she had moved out, you know, quite a few months ago, but where she's living, she moved, she moved in with family, so she didn't have room for it. And I wasn't using the room, but now I need it. So anyway, so open out there. But when she came, she brought Jewel, her little dog, who you've seen in la la other videos, and Pete went outside. And Jewel said, I, or Brandy said, I can't get Jewel out of the car until you get Chewy out of the way. And Pete looked down, there was Chewy out <laughs> outside. He snuck out the door when Pete went out. A little sneak wide. Chewy, did you do that, Chewy? Did you sneak out? Was you sneaking? He wanted to see his friend Jewel. So, so anyway, I just got dressed. I've been up for about an hour, but I haven't had coffee yet or anything, so. Man, last night we had each had a cup of that golden tea. If you don't know anything about golden tea, do a search. Oh my goodness, that was delicious. And you don't dare drink more than a cup a day um, to start or ever. I don't know. But at least to start, you're supposed to start kind of low and then work your way up. So we're going to, that's what we're doing. It was delicious. So, all right, guys. Let's see what's going on in the world. Uh-oh, i got to move the antenna, maybe. Yeah, I've got to move the antenna. Let's see. There's our van. Randy's probably parked behind us. See all that condensation? That's just from breathing in here. That's all it is. Every night. It's like that. <laughs> well, there's Brandy's car. Well, I should go over and see if she needs help or anything. Although I'm kind of sore from yesterday. <laughs> My burning bush is starting to get a few little buds on it. Anyway. I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm in Cadillac. Pizza at his appointment. I'm at Aldi's. Gas is still 232.9 at Walmart, which is about half as close as it looks here. And, uh, wow, it's 265 and everywhere else. So they obviously haven't gone up yet. You can tell because people are lined up. We have a full tank, at least in this vehicle. Uh... 
So I dropped Pete off at his appointment, which is down that road about a half a mile. And then uh, Chewy and I went to Aldi. Chewy was such a good boy. I'll turn you around. Chewy was such a good boy. He's back there now. But I put all the groceries behind this seat. Not that I got that many. 25 bucks worth, not a lot. But, well, I guess I got a lot for that. But anyway. And there's Chewy. And I told him to go in the other back seat. Well, I had this back door open. I told him to stay, and he stayed right there and didn't try and escape or run off or anything. He was just a good boy. Of course, I was ready if he did try. <laughs> but, um, what a good boy. Usually, one of us puts the stuff in the car that we bought while the other one holds the dog, so I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Um, but yeah, we're going to go, uh, after I pick, I'm going to go park over and pick up Pete. We're going to go to Walmart, Meyer, Big Lots, one of those places, or more than one, shop for Leland's birthday present. So I'm going to go park over there and sit in the rain and play games or something. It's not very cold out. Let me see. Of course, this I can't depend on. That's his 42. Let's see. That one up there. Hey, it also says 42. Pretty good. Chewy, it's 42. Hi, Chewy. So Chewy and I are gonna go park over at the VA lot and just wait for Pete to come out, and then we'll go shopping for Leland's birthday present. And then we go home because this rain is supposed to turn into snow tonight. Now they're just saying five to six inches instead of six to eight. We'll see. As long as it's gone on Friday when we go to Saginaw, that's all I care about. We'll be chilly since we took most of the winter stuff into the house already, but we'll survive it for one night. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know if I like that or not. Hmm, not sure. I don't know. For a dollar, though. Or about this one. This one might be better. Like one of them red hat ladies. Yeah, except for I look like a freaking cowboy. No, thanks. I don't like these on me. Do you? I don't think these look good on me. I wish this one did, because I like this hat. Where do you put the bow? Yeah, right there. Right? Oh, why not? Why people, not? Have, people have their hair over one eye. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> when you can't do that, you know you need more oxygen. I want to get this one, because I'm going to wear it to Leland's birthday party. Thank you, dear. Hi guys, it's 8.18, 38 degrees, um, and I'm just going to finish up for tonight. There was dinner, I couldn't eat all of them, I'll give you a close up. Um, for lunch today I took, I roasted some eggplant. And then uh, stuffed it with, uh, first thing out of the oven. Of course, it had olive oil brushed all over it. I put some provolone cheese, lined it, and then I put some hot uh, mushrooms and uh, ground beef and onion and garlic that I had fried up together, stuffed it, filled it, and um, poured tomato sauce over the top and Parmesan cheese. Lots of Parmesan cheese. It was so good. We loved it. But I had some of this meat mixture left. So tonight, um, you know, I told you a couple weeks ago about this Keto Connect channel and this young couple, they're so cute, and they made these rolls that I made and we really liked. I've been using that dough with my own <coughs> modifications. Not a lot of modifications. I add some sour cream to it so that it will interact with the baking powder 
and it, I get a much better rise that way. I also throw yeast in with it just to get the yeast smell as it's baking in the yeast. Um, it's not even a flavor, it's just a sense of, it just makes it more bready. Not even a flavor, it just, just makes it more bready, sort of. In your mind, you think, oh, bready. Anyway, whatever, it's delicious. But um, I made, in the my muffin top pan, I added, you know, I made six, like, pizza crust. Put about two tablespoons of tomato sauce on each one, maybe even more. Put the leftover meat, mushrooms, onion, garlic mixture, and then put a piece, slice of provolone over it. And they are delicious. They are very, very good, but the tomato sauce disappeared. We see the color, but we couldn't taste the tomato sauce. I also seasoned it heavily with oregano. I bought fresh oregano today because I read that oregano is also good against cancer cells. So um, what I did was I figure, you know, I'm not going to, like, I can't just do everything I read, and I can't think, you know, I don't want to just go insane over all this stuff. I don't want to make us crazy. But after reading that, I don't mind flavoring our food a little more heavily with oregano. That's all. But anyway, that muffin top pan has six wells in it. So that's one. I, I can only eat two of those. Pete is wrapping Leland's birthday presents. Um, I despise wrapping gifts despise wrapping gifts um, and I'm not good at it but I got this at the dollar store they had all this all different color 35 sheets of all different colored tissue paper so he's wrapping with the, all those different colors and then I got a happy birthday bag we'll put them all in there there's four things so um so that's what he's doing they've Updated our weather report. They were saying we're, our, store, our winter storm that's coming tonight and tomorrow is supposed to bring uh, six to eight inches. Now they're saying six to nine inches in heavy winds. Of course, all our extra heaters and extra blankets and everything are in the house. But it's not supposed to get all that cold. I mean, mid-20s. That's it's not so bad tonight. And then back up in the 30s tomorrow while all this is going on. So... That's not bad. It doesn't get extraordinarily cold in here until we get, like, down in the low teens or single digits. We should be good. Um, however, it may impact our, may impact our travel. Um, because Friday, you know, Pete has appointments, multiple appointments down in Saginaw. So we're going to take the RV and go down there. And then Leland's party, uh, birthday party is Sunday. So we were going to and I'll just stay down there for the weekend. However, and plus there's something going on at Casey's Church Sunday morning, so we're going to go to church with them Sunday. Um, but, you know, if, if the <clears throat> storm is as they say it is, and if the roads are going to be bad, uh, then we'll just drive down and spend two days, you know, we'll drive down in the van and for the, you know, all day Friday and again all day Saturday. <laughs> I mean, all day Sunday. So that is what is going on. Um, there was something else too, but I don't know what. I want to tell you about Leland's birthday presents, but no can do. Now, I don't think he watches my vlogs, but you just never know. Okay, I want to see you guys. Have a great night. Have a great Thursday. And take care. God bless and good night.